I know there may be a couple more folks coming. So I just want to say that uh, Ann and Lane know this, and David uh, and a few others, and Lisa might. I'm uh, coming to you from sunny North Carolina in the foothills of the Smokies. I'm here with our three grandchildren, and we also say hi to our daughter and uh, and their dad. So it, it's really the grandchildren that uh, the primary uh, interest here. I'll just be be honest with you. Uh, tonight, I'm just going to go into a presentation mode and share with you uh, the agenda. And I sent you an updated one. There we go. One more click. And Kelsey, can you see this uh, agenda? Yes. Okay. Um, so I sent you the updated one because I, I, after I got thinking about the, the original one, I said it makes sense to put all of the feedback right into the agenda so we don't miss anything. So tonight uh, we're going to uh, do our best to incorporate the administrative feedback, which is here. Um, and we're going to incorporate school board feedback, which is here. And if I've missed anything, Lane and Ann, uh, do uh, do keep me honest in this. Uh, we had very little citizen feedback. Uh, I had one yesterday. I finally had three, and all three of them didn't participate in forums, and they didn't participate in the survey. Their names were on the list. I just sent the feedback to everyone on the list because I wasn't sure who attended which forum. These were people that uh, you all reached out to. Uh, and so we haven't had any any feedback uh, positively, negatively, or anything else from citizens. Uh, towards the end of the meeting tonight, uh, I want you to think about who'd like to present the vision, who'd like to present mission, the beliefs, and each of the four priorities. So we'll have seven people, hopefully, that will step forward and be willing to present to the board on June 14th the final strategic plan. And so uh, once we get that done, we'll have a, uh, we'll have a, uh, a hoot nanny here, a little, uh, little celebration uh, from a long January, February, March, April, and May, a five month uh, fairly arduous process in uh, pulling together the strategic plan with feedback and input from lots of people. Uh, but before I start, I just want to uh, I want to see if uh, any of you have any uh, any thoughts or issues before we uh, jump into it tonight. Any anything else that ought to be on the agenda? Anything that I might have missed as we wrap it up tonight? And for some reason, I can't see any of you. So if you have if you have something, uh, sing out and let me know. Okay. Uh, I have just one. Uh, all of the information are are we going to still have like the results from the from the surveys? That's going to still be live somewhere on in the in the shared drive or whatever the shared drive. Was Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And uh, like the, you, you own that, okay. you own that. So Tina Scheindel, uh, we'll keep that live as long as you folks want it. Okay. So er everything will be there. And that's a good question, Ann. Anything else? Okay. Well, let's take a look at the vision, mission, and beliefs. Um, so I didn't, I didn't hear any, anything, uh, as far as changes to the vision statement, uh, Lane and Ann, did, did I miss anything? Was there any feedback that any of your folks had, uh, on the vision statement? No, they had a pretty, uh, pretty positive kind of response. Um, 
a lot of the comments were more kind of about wordsmithing and whatnot, but they thought the spirit and the intent was pretty good. Okay. And how about the school board? Sorry, my household is being very loud right now. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to be conscious of that. Uh, I I don't recall strong. I I think there was basically no comment to the to the vision statement and mission statement. Remember, they were just wondering um, about just making sure it talked about education. And again, I think it was the concern about making sure knowledge and skills was sort of um, front and center. Okay, so I'm going back to the agenda and this is the, this is the statement. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm gonna copy this over and let us take a look at is there a way, whoops, that's kind of tiny. Is there a way that uh, we can wordsmith this a bit to have a stronger linkage uh, with, the, with the terms education and learning? Uh, the board didn't think that it, it was quite as um, obvious in the mission statement with, um, with what it what it is that we're about. So any any thoughts, any wordsmithing here? I'm assuming you can all see this. And again, I can't see you. So uh, Anne, would you uh, would you facilitate a little bit and just keep me honest here as to if people have their hands up? Well, and. Also, um, when I'm not sure if we necessarily have to change it, I I think, I mean, that was a few people on, or actually, I think it was basically one person on the, on the board. So I don't know if that means then you rework the whole thing. I think we can all, I would encourage us all to kind of look at that and think, have we made a strong linkage to education and learning in that mission statement? And if we if we put our heads together and feel like we've done that, I think, I think we can let it go. Other, other, other thoughts? Well, I mean, we could add, um, it, uh, the OSST is a learning community. And okay. I mean, pretty simple fix, and I think might cover the problem or the concern right david you're thinking right here yes okay what are, what do uh, design team members think about that i like that idea okay any other uh, pro or con I like that change. I was also thinking, and this might just be too basic, but in front of knowledge, we could always add the word, ac word academic if that might you know, make, I know we were kind of trying to say that we learn more than just academic, but I don't know if maybe for those board members, if having that, you know, their academic knowledge, if that again might just pull that piece, but I like the learning community as well. I think that's helpful. Okay. I would say I'm an gonna, academic gonna... learning community. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm not I'm not a big fan of putting academic in there. I feel like what is education and learning if not developing knowledge and skills? Um and I feel like that that I think that just makes it too um it makes it sound like we are just focused on, on that side of it. Um so yeah, I'm not a big fan of that change. I don't mind the, the initial one though, the learning community one. Okay. Other other thoughts? I, I would agree that we shouldn't narrow it to academic. I don't I don't like that there. Okay. If anything I would put academic, I mean if you really wanted to, would be to put it in front of the learn an academic learning community 
because we're in a school, an academic institution. But what if we put education in front of knowledge? Better, worse? I'm seeing lots of shaking heads. Well, two or three. All right. Let me see if I can pull these pieces together and hopefully it may not change too much. Um, the OSSD is a learning in, or is a community that empowers students of all backgrounds by promoting academic and personal excellence and then the rest. I don't know if that'll have to make the other one a second sentence or it'll screw up the whole flow, but it gets the pieces in there I think that people may be looking for. Or it may be screwing things up, you tell me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by uh, Lane, by promoting academic and personal what? Uh, excellence. All right. And then a two, maybe, to discover and pursue. How do, how do people think that flows? Just because I said it doesn't mean people can't disagree. So if you hate it, say so. <laughs> yeah, show, show me hands or maybe uh, I'm trying to trying to read faces. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking that really just adding that learning was enough. Honestly, I think it flowed really well. I think we're just uh, we're just making it muddy. So, how, so do we have some uh, camps with a maybe a thumbs up with what Richard is saying? Or okay, yeah, I'm seeing seeing several. Wilder, is that a thumb up or is that a I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it sounds like maybe we want to put it back the other way, or I don't know if you want to just copy the whole thing and put it back the other way, and we can read it through, we can read the two different ones and then decide on which one we like. Can do that. Just to support um, for this, I happened to be on the um, board meeting when they had it and what the board, a couple of the board members I think were saying was they had a hard time the way we had it, feeling like it applied to a school and they were feeling like that the mission statement could apply to many different types of organizations. So I think the school boards, the couple of people that voiced it, that was their reason for wanting to see that just so people kind of have a background for what they were, what their concerns were. I appreciate hearing that and keeping in mind that the whole purpose of an educational program is to prepare humans for the job field or career wherever they are. That very last phrase about the purposeful future as successful adults and citizens makes me think we can't just say we're, a, I mean, we are more than a school. We're preparing people to be team members and authentic thinkers and so many other things. It's not just about academics. Okay. All right. I think we've got an option one with the only inclusion of learning community here. And option two with learning community and promoting academic and personal excellence. Uh, any changes to that before Ann facilitates a vote? So are we ready? Do we want to use the raise hand thing in the that raise hand thing in the options there at the bottom, or do you want to do thumbs? I think I can see every is everybody one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven people that I can see. And we're missing two, so there's thirteen. Uh, so it must be missing seeing. A couple of other folks, because Lane makes 16. 
Yeah. Although I don't know if Daisy is on tonight. Let me see. Well, and Orca's on, and there's a couple. That would make 17. Right, so it's 15 people. All right. So yeah, that's that's 15 and counting Winton twice. Yeah. Keep in mind. Oh, okay. And that's so we're really at 12. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So we've got. I can see everybody. So we can do a thumbs up, thumb uh, for which one you want. So for option one, can I see thumbs? Okay, and option two. Okay, so we've got uh, option one is got the majority. Okay, good, good deliberation. So we now have a uh, a revised mission statement. Thank you very much. And let me just take the option out of this. Okay, uh, on to beliefs. We had one one school board member that uh, was very vehement that this was, the, I don't know if he thought this was the best belief statement, but he thought it ought to be first. And so I, I've arbitrarily moved it from second to first, and that's that all students are continually challenged academically and encouraged to reach the next level of proficiency. Uh, and the only other one where there was feedback, uh, board thought that this one didn't flow in the same manner as the other ones. So what's your, what's your pleasure? First of all, are you okay just moving this one from second place to first place, even though it was only one board member? I'm saying thumbs up. I, I think that's. We're, we're all in agreement. Okay. Any thoughts around environmental stewardship as a responsibility for all? I, I don't think they thought it was a bad idea. They just didn't think that it flowed in the same way as the other ones. Yeah, it's like um, the, the cabinet mentioned the same thing. If you look at all the other ones, there's a nice, you know, there's a noun in there, all students, all children, all students, 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 educators, and families. There's no noun in there. And I don't know if it's just that pragmatic a change in the wording or if the con it didn't seem like the concern was about the statement itself. It just didn't seem to fit in with the rest. And I'm not sure if it's that simple a change that might fix it. I think given that it, probably the largest crisis that our kids generation is going to have to face it doesn't hurt for it to stand out a little bit all right i'm doing a little wordsmithing here tell me if this helps it or hurts it open for suggestions I like adding uh, students and staff because it makes it feel more responsible to, to Richard's point. Um, it's an important part of their future. And by calling out specifically students and staff, I feel like highlights it more and puts more directly on them. I, for some reason, I feel like in the community is just too much, but that's just my two cents. Okay. Other feedback. Any other ideas? All right. And do you want to uh, facilitate a vote? Sure. So all those in favor of, of this change, show me your thumbs. Any 
Okay, it looks like we're 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 a go with that. Okay. Great. Uh, and and or Lane, any other any other issues around vision, mission, and beliefs that I might have missed? In that last in that last statement, it should be responsibility of, not for. And under H, David. We're, um, um, no, the, the environmental stewardship oh. plan should be the responsibility of, not for. Okay, got it. Yeah, thank you. Wayne, will you just remind me how how we came up with these? Was this huh? sort of just drawn from the surveys and the focus groups, or were these something that you'd seen somewhere else and we've sort of adapted? Uh, both. I I heard it in different uh, conversations with um, the surveys. Uh, I extracted some from comments in, in the, uh, the forums and the surveys and others. Um, these are generally uh, belief statements that got extracted from uh, the North Carolina uh, belief statements. I think some came from the San Francisco uh, University High School. And I think there was a Colorado model in there that um, we borrowed some from. So it's an amalgamation from a, a variety of sources. Great, awesome, I was just curious. Yeah. I'm just going back to the agenda to see if there was some other uh, action steps, major goals, uh, emphasis, middle school, Proficiency, yeah, we took care of that one. Actually, I'm just gonna pull that right out of there because we've already done it. And we've already done this one. Actually, I'm gonna leave those in because when I do the minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna recognize that issue. All right. Well, I think, I think we're in good shape. So we're gonna call this the 517 Vision, Mission and Beliefs. And that's locked in. Any any last thoughts here before I go to the goals? I'm I'm not seeing any waving hands. Okay. Here's the here's the, here's the tough one. I changed this title back to 517. I initially um, had it as 518 so I could differentiate it. Uh, I deleted the 517, and this is the new uh, evolving draft. We've got quite a bit of feedback here, and I, I agree with uh, a lot of the feedback. There are a lot of goals here, and uh, research shows that uh, four or five goals are kind of the max that you can be successful with. So here's what I'm... What I'm going to advocate here. We're not going to delete any, but I think we ought to do some prioritization. And here's what I'm what I'm thinking. Uh, is not only are there a lot of goals, but a lot of goals to do in three years. Um, the other strategic planning process that I'm facilitating, uh, they're developing a five-year plan. And I think given the, the number of, uh, the amount of feedback we heard from the forums, what we heard from the surveys and 23 goals, we're gonna be a lot more successful if we parse out the start and completion timeframe into a, a five-year plan. And the other thing that I think, given what I'm hearing from board and administrators, we ought to uh, prioritize and rank order goals so that if there's some that uh, have a lower priority that in, in a sense, we're giving permission for 
the high priority goals to get um, the primary focus. And doesn't mean that the administrative team or the teachers um, or staff aren't going to do those. But I, I'm worried, and administrators are also worried that if it's too many, it's going to water down the effort to be able to accomplish them and feel like uh, we're, we're not just spinning wheels. So I'd, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this, and then we'll then we'll pursue uh, what to do about it. And the last thing I'll just say, we do have four main um, priorities. And the first one, as you know, is school culture and climate. And that's what the board asked us uh, to study for middle school and high school. Uh, the second one is communication and relationship building. That emerged from the forums. The third is the foundational knowledge that's what you've been working on from the last strategic plan. And the fourth one is personal development skills. And that was partially identified in your last strategic plan, but highly emphasized in the feedback that we heard. So if we said that the, uh, if the four main priorities or theme areas were those, then maybe that that's kind of the high level uh, focus here. Uh, what we do with the goals that are under each, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to advocate that uh, and I'm not going to be able to finish it in front of your eyes tonight, but I'd just like to put a number here as we look under each priority area, what seems to be the most important, and Ann, I'm going to I'm going to rely on you to uh, to manage our votes tonight if that's where we go. Uh, but before we do, what what do you think about that? I mean, I think the document looks really overwhelming right now, and that it definitely uh, would be helpful to take some goals out. I mean, I. I don't have advice on which ones right now, but. Okay, thank you. I think that was Kelsey. It was Haley. Haley. My Haley, sister's okay. name is Kelsey, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, other thoughts? I have to say, I agree. I, you know, both on and of we're asking the school and fall back on this and do evaluations that could be pretty exhausting or it's hard if you've made a little progress in each area does that mean you've succeeded or not succeeded so I think probably paring them down um, and I think basing it to some degree if we can off of the things that came up the most in um, some of the meetings and stuff would be great okay all right other 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 uh, ideas feedback thoughts I'm wondering if when we prioritize um there may have to be some compromise between the things that are super important, but at the same time, what's what's actually achievable or what's actually going to have the biggest impact. So it doesn't feel to us and to the school board and the community like we're just reinventing the wheel and doing the same old, same old. Um, so I just uh, I, f I feel like we've got to be we're going to pare these down. We've got to be really intelligent about how we do it and what kind of impact these goals will have. OK. I'm liking what I'm hearing. Other thoughts? One of the other things that Ann had brought up about the school board was maybe just looking at, and this might be kind of even like what Richard's saying, is the measurability of some of the goals. Like we talked about, some of the goals were sort of really open-ended, and so the ability, so some of what we might need to look at is what are the things that can really produce at least some degree of data, whether it's, you know, however that's brought in, but I think that that gives measurable ability for the school board to be able to respond to. Okay, good, good thought. Do any of you have um, some ideas about how we might tonight go about doing this? I'm just looking at one of them in front of me here. It just happens to be the one in front of me. But um, there are some of these that we are 
we are actively pursuing at the moment, and I'm not saying we're doing them perfectly because we're not, but the one I'm looking at is um, clearly articulate all assessments in each content area and grade level and use data to inform teaching practices. So that's not, we are not uniformly perfect at that across the board, but it's certainly something that all of us are striving to do all the time. So um, maybe, yeah, maybe we should be looking at, at the goals where it's, it's one of those ones where we're going, well, we haven't actually put much focus into the uh, into this because that one I'm looking at right there, we've definitely put a lot of focus into that. Okay. Let me do this. Let me make a second copy here because I don't want to lose any of the kind of minutia uh, because Lane and the administrative cabinet um, may like to rely on the more in-depth work and, and the board uh, in policy governance world may want to have only the ends focus. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change what I said earlier and I'm gonna I'm gonna re I'm gonna make a copy and I'm gonna call this one well I'm gonna Lane what what would you like this to be called so we can differentiate? Well I'm in, I'm in the wrong thing here. Um, um you could probably call it uh prioritized right Prioritize okay. goal matrix. Because like I said, it's that all the goals are actually really, really good. There's just a lot of them. And so, you know, if we can figure out, hey, these are the first five or six to work on, and we hammer away at them until we've got them up to whatever benchmark we set as, as being where we want them to be. Um, we know that once we hit those benchmarks consistently for a little while and the work that's happening to maintain them becomes a part of culture, then we kind of move on to... Um, you know, another one. Okay. So I'm going to call it the uh, prioritize goals. And that's the one that we're going to work on now. And let me make it a little bit larger here. All right. Got it. Do you want to start from the top uh, or would it be helpful for you all just to at your computers go through and and put a number uh, for each goal? Don't worry about action steps right now. Just number your goals and then we'll come back together and, and uh, do a little chip trading here to see uh, where the consensus is under each of these uh, priorities. Does that make sense as a as a strategy to help us move forward? Um, did you just share this doc with us so that we can do that? Or because the one that was shared earlier today says it's in the owner's trash and I can't like it doesn't seem productive to work in that one. Okay. Here we go, coming at you. Thank you. Let me know, Ann, when you can see this. All right. Wilder's got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on on those that do deal with Google more than I do because I'm still trying to get get to my Google. Um, so it should be in the shared drive, right? Yeah. Or shared with me. Yes. And I put it in the chat just now to a link to it if that's quicker. Okay. Kelsey, can you see it? Yeah. I can. Okay. Uh, and just to do, do a thumbs up to make sure uh, the majority of folks can see this now. Okay. Do we have thumbs up for folks? Everyone is. <laughs> Dave, you got it? Yeah, you got it. Okay. James, you got it? Yep. Okay. So 
I'm the one who's got to figure out how to get it. Can you take I can see camera? it. But should I make a copy in order to type my priority numbers, or am I supposed to make notes in a note? Do it, do it, in, um, do it as a, maybe a side note, or well, let me think what the best we, way to we do We can't it. type in the document, I don't think. You should be able can to. We just, can we just take yeah. notes? Are we going to discuss it? Yeah, just take side notes, I guess, maybe. I'm just going to write mine on a piece of paper and then yep. be able to share. Yeah, that makes sense. So the, the plan, let's just take one priority at a time under school culture and climate, go through and uh, rank order. I guess there's only three, four. There are four goals, one through four, rank order, uh, school culture and climate. Only under the goal itself. Yep. And let Ann know with a thumbs up when you when you've completed that. Okay. Uh, sorry, we're numbering them based off of which we think is most important. Yes, number one is most important to you. Number four is least important to you. Don't worry about the action steps or benchmarks. I'll maybe I'll work with Lane offline uh, just to refine those. And I think Richard's uh, comment about. If it's stuff we're already doing and won't have a substantial new impact, uh, consider that as well. So, Winton, are you wanting us to do one, one? Yeah area at a time yes just do the four uh four goals under school culture and climate so okay. it would be this this first column and folks like to let ann know with a thumbs up either physically or in your um in your technology that you finish that and then we'll have a conversation. Okay, I'm seeing problems for most people. We're almost all there. David and David, are you ready? Yep. Okay, we're good to go. All right. So um, I'm going to ask you to uh, I guess share what's the easiest way? How, how many of you uh, had number one for this one? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Four? Four. All right. How many of you had number one for this one? Closing the gap. Wait. I think you're showing the a different one than I read. Maybe I read the wrong one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. I'm sure. I'm showing you the wrong one. Okay, I was like, wow, I really messed that one up. <laughs> no, I really messed that one up. So we had four on number one. Yeah. How many on number two? One. 
two, three, four. Four on number two. Okay. Yeah. How many number ones did uh, were there on this one? Uh, three, four. Uh, three. Okay. This is three. really hard because I feel like all three of these are super important. I don't know. Okay. Well, the other way we can do it is we can do an amalgamation of all of your votes for each one, and the low score gives us our highest priority. Maybe that's the best way to do it. So we had uh, four number ones. How many number twos did you have on the first one? Uh, one, two, three, four. Is that is that a is that a hand, Lisa? <laughs> no. One, two, three, four. Y yes, it is five. Five. Okay. Okay. All right. How many had no, have uh, threes? One. Okay. And any fours on this one? None? None. Okay. So we've got a total of 10. Again, low score wins. Uh, on the next one, we had four uh, number ones. In number twos. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. Okay. In number threes. One, two. And any fours here? No. How come it's not? Sorry, I should have been a number two there. Sorry. I'm not you had a number two? Yeah, sorry, I forgot to raise my hand. Okay. So we've got 12 here. Last wait, chance. Wait, but the other one we didn't have, we're missing some people. 12, we have 12 votes. The first one, yeah. we only got 10 votes. Okay. Who are we missing on the first one here? I didn't vote on that one because uh, it was the first one. That that's for me. That's just a given. It's just what you do. If that makes sense. Um, the other thing is that um, just adding up the number of votes, the way that we're doing it, um, right? Since everybody's voting as a one, two, three, or four, you're always going to have this. You should always have the same total technically. So there is a way to weight them, you know, fours are worth one, you know, fives are worth two, you know, five times two, one times three. There's a way to do okay. a weighted average, which I can do for you if you want me to in the morning after we got the numbers. Okay. Yep, that'd be good. So what you're saying, yeah, that makes sense. So if I record them like this, Lane, then you'll, uh, you and I can work this on uh, tomorrow? Yeah, I can throw it in a spreadsheet and probably figure it out in about about 10, 15 minutes. Not a biggie. Okay. But Lane, you you got to put your your vote in there for the first one. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna put me in on the first one, I'll like I said, um, I'll put that as a four, just because like I said, it's what we do every day anyway. That's our primary primary yeah. work. So that would be five for number one. Got it. Okay. So we're still missing somebody. We want to redo. Why don't we just? How many people had a number? Had it? Had it for number one? Let me see hands. One, two, three. Wait. Had what for number one? The access this one. to. The learning environment and materials and resources. Right here. Well, that's the given. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. David, you had your four, five for me. Okay, 
five. So that makes five. Five ones. Five ones. Five twos. Okay. One three and one four. Does that does okay. that ring true to yep. everybody? You see There's them 12. in there somewhere? <laughs> okay. So we should have two. a 12 every time we, we get it. Yeah. Got it. And we've got it here. Everybody mm -hmm. must should have should have weighed in. So we've got 12, but Lane's going to do the, um, the weighted. The weighted voting. Okay. All right. Right now we've got three number ones. About uh, how many number twos? One, one number two. Oh, is that you, David? Up oh, two number twos. Sorry. Okay. We'll get better at this as we're moving forward Wait. here. How many number threes? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, including myself. Okay. And there's nine, 11. We were missing one, so it must be. One, number four. I put it in. I forgot to vote. <laughs> okay. I just fixed it. All right. So all right, good. That's what we like. So we've got 12. Thank you. And then how about to evaluate ongoing building needs, so on and so forth. How many number ones? No number ones. Okay, how many number twos? No number twos. Number threes. No number threes. Oh, we got one number three. Okay. Got it. And so number four. Eleven number fours. Okay. Well, this is actually starting to percolate. Got it. So there's our twelve. All right, so you've got the uh, the gist of how we're going to do this. And again, uh, I'll I'll shift uh, once Lane gives me the prioritization. I'll go through and uh, redo the uh, the action steps, benchmarks, so on and so forth. Uh, as, as we move forward, what are your thoughts about changing this to either a four or five year strategic plan, or do you still want it to be three? Any pros and cons? What exactly is your plan once you get the weighted information? Are you planning to um, keep all of them or are you planning to get rid of the bottom two or three? Because I guess to me that would make a difference based on how many goals are left yeah. as to the recommendation. Well, let me shift that back to the administrators, Lane, Lisa, and David. What are your thoughts on what makes sense for the implementation of the plan? Is it better to have fewer and go three years? Uh, does it make sense to go four or five and include some of these, but start the implementation in year two, three, or even four? I'm, I'm fine either way. Um, I just, as long as there's some sort of caveat on there, that recognizes that, you know, as we're working, we might find out that it's some of them aren't possible in three. I mean, there are some that are going to require um, the entire faculty working towards it. And again, we only have so many PD professional development days each year that we can do some of the more concentrated work and whatnot. And so those will take a little bit longer. But it's it's hard. I always have a hard time estimating times. Um, so it's it's hard for me to say. Um, like I said, I'm fine either way. I just I think there needs to just be a caveat that if we're working effectively on the prior priorities, that people understand that 
you know, we might communicate that we need more time and we can give a rationale for why. Okay. Uh, Lisa, David, any, uh, any additional thoughts here before we make a group decision? Yeah, I agree with what, what Lane just said. It's really hard to anticipate um, exactly what the timeline will look like. I think as long as we're working toward these goals, that's what makes the most sense. David, any additional ideas? Uh, well, I mean, not really. I, I, I think they're goals, and I think that they're all important. And and um, I hate to have – if it's a five-year plan, I, it, it puts us out so far be before you stop and look at it. I mean, unless it's like uh, – I, I, I think it should be looked at in three years. Okay. Lisa, are you a, a three-year, four-year, or five-year uh person i i mean i think you regularly evaluate your progress toward your goals so i would hope we were looking at it sooner than whatever the end time was um so i i don't have a firm um a firm sort of thought about it i mean i think we'll make we'll make the plan and do the best we can to meet the goals um but yeah, so I don't, I don't have. Okay. Yeah, the the three versus five. Um, again, it's kind of interesting. I'm actually with with the understanding that it might not be possible to get some done in three, right? Especially if we're focusing on the 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 priority ones first. But I think that three year mark to go along with what David said may be important because a whole heck of a lot, as we've just discovered, can change in the world in three or four years. Yeah. And it might not be bad um, at the three-year mark to just kind of reevaluate, you know, are these still, you know, what's been accomplished, what hasn't been accomplished, and what hasn't been accomplished, which ones are still priorities given how the world has changed in the last three or four years. Good point. You know, the, that, that's, a, that's a worthy conversation to have. Yeah. And what uh, what do you think, Where what is the, uh, as you represent the board, where's the board on this? I would say, um, again, because the board is looking for the broader um, accomplishments. Yeah. Um, and the, even the way we monitor, it allows for uh, a benchmark, but then also a, a rationale or, an, or a, a reasonable, reasonable inter interpretation of why we may not necessarily be where we wanted to be at that point. Um, I think, you know, sometimes as Lane pointed out, things come up or you get into a plan and you start working towards something and you realize, you know what, this isn't working. And, and the board doesn't, we don't want the administration to feel compelled to finish something if it's not working. We want the educators to be able to be making their decisions based on what's happening in the world of education and what research is telling them and what the world how the world is changing and influencing what results need to be happening for kids so from the board perspective i don't want to tie them into any super tight uh you must do this because as as they're going along if they figure out that this isn't the you know this isn't working or uh, it's not having the results we intended. We need to adjust things. I, I would, I'd like to keep it at three, and then they can kind of readjust as as they go along. Okay. Well, let us move forward then and re answer to. Uh, I don't know if it was Gus or whoever uh, asked that question. Uh, let's keep it as a three-year focus, and uh, the ideal plan is. At the end of year one, if something's accomplished, then we we recognize that, and we always keep a three-year plan in front of us. So year one goes away, maybe we pick up one of the lower priorities in the next three-year window, and we keep ratcheting forward. We, we eliminate goals that are accomplished and prioritize the new ones, but let us keep it for now as a three-year plan. And so with that in mind, 
let's move to the second priority, uh, second theme area, which is communication and relationship building. Uh, take a moment, go through. You've got one, two. You've only got two to prioritize here, so this one will be a little bit faster. I do wonder what this one went, went in, if we could kind of combine them. And I mean, okay. you can't have good communication about curriculum and learning if you're not having good communication. So I wonder. Oh, good point. We don't need to vote on this one, and maybe maybe we can just prioritize the top one, and then this the other one could co would come after anyways, or would come with the first one anyways, if that makes sense. It does. And you want to run a thumbs up on Kelsey? I think that was Kelsey. That no, that was Kayla again. Um, Kayla. Or no, Haley, sorry. Haley. Um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so we're going to vote on. I Sorry, I was reading. I was reading the two. <laughs> you caught me not paying attention <laughs> or not listening clearly. So. Um, Do you want me to re-explain? Think that, Either uh, one of you. I think I heard Haley, <laughs> whoever was speaking, uh, say that we're prioritizing improved two-way communications between families and schools is number one. And Haley, did I get it right? Communicate curriculum learning outcomes to families and communities is number two. Is that what you were advocating? Yeah, I was just saying that if you're doing the first one, then you're kind of doing the second one, or it's going to come after your set set up good communication, then you would then be communicating maybe more about academics, but it's kind of, that's what you're communicating about. So um, it's kind of. Okay. Right. And now, now this, this is Kelsey this time. Um, and it, I agree with that. And also, I feel like the communicate curriculum is kind of a an action step, right? That that's part of what you're talking to the families about. So making that oh. just this kind of sub bullet or action, the next column over. Oh, okay. I agree with Haley on that and just adding that to the action step instead. Uh, Haley, would you, uh, in Robert's Rules of Parliamentary Procedure, would you accept that that amendment, so to say? She gave that I think that's a great up. idea. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out of here. Um, I'll put it for now. I'll just put it here. And I'll take the two off and we've got a, a prioritized goal. Uh, and why don't you take a vote on that and just make sure that that's the consensus of, uh, of our team. Okay. I'm looking for some. And it looks like it's a majority. Got it? Yep. Beautiful. All right. Now this one's going to be a little bit harder. Foundational knowledge is our third priority and theme. And you've got one, two, you've got a lot. Three, four, five, there are six, 12. seven. Aha. Well, any mergers and acquisitions? Are there any uh, that you would see us merging uh, before we vote, or do you want to just let the vote tell us uh, what's going to happen here? I feel like the bottom three are the same. Uh, they're all about raising the standard of proficiency in the two SBACs and the Vermont Science um, Assessment. All right, say that again, Richard. The bottom three, I feel, are exactly the same. They're just tackling three different topics. They're um, improving our scores in the SBACs and in the Vermont uh, Science Assessment. So to my mind, they're, they're essentially the same goal. And it's something that we do. Uh, it's like Lane said earlier, it's one of those ones that's a given. We're always trying to do that. So uh, if I change some language here, the number of students achieving, uh, achieving proficiency, in other words, taking out well, I don't know, though. Hmm. Lane, I'm going to defer this to you because uh, these were very specific in your ENDS report to the board and also Anne. 
of how do you want to handle this? There, um, I understand uh, exactly, you know, what's being said, what Richard's saying. It's um, the three. I'm actually okay with that uh, because we've done a significant amount of work on it already. Um, there's a lot that'll be flowing into it next year. Um, so I'm not as concerned about that one as being as massive as it looks just because of the amount of work that's already been done. Um, and I kind of get what Richard's saying about the three of them together. Um, but again, combined together, it is a tremendous amount of work in total. So, so it's English language arts, uh, math, ELA, and, math and, and science. Yeah. Okay. And my question with that goes all the way back to the very first um, category about closing the academic gap. Like I always kind of thought that was very like similar to to that too, and why it was kind of spread so far apart from that goal. Okay. You uh, could achieve though that goal, part of that goal, and then not the other part. I mean, like you could achieve proficiency and the. English language arts, but not in math or the other science, the other science one that's now deleted that I, we don't take in first grade. Um, you know what I mean? So maybe leaving them separate. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, you could leave them separate, but you vote on them as one priority, right? Because it's really about academic achievement and the foundational knowledge base. Um, yeah. And, and Lane and I can tinker with uh, what's here in the action steps. But for tonight's purpose, let's just, just consider this as one, one now of what, nine, Richard? Does that take us to nine? I believe that brings us to 10. 10, okay. Any any other mergers and acquisitions here before we vote? What about this one? Is that encompassed by what we just did below? No, because we don't take the S back but in below grade three. Yeah, it's tra track my progress. Okay. All right. I guess you've got 10 to vote on. So go to it, one through one through, through 10 under foundational knowledge. Give Anne a thumbs up when you're uh, when you're done. If you're going to say any bad words, keep your mic off. <laughs> because I know this is a lot of slogging on this one. 
The last one won't be as bad. <clears throat> so I only had nine total. I might have missed one. Okay. Me too. Oh, oh, oh wait, no. Oh. Yeah, I forgot the board. The board one on the is the very first one. That's the one I forgot. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah. That ended up being my ten. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, it's not. It shouldn't be. <laughs> Well, there's a, there's a logic behind these ones in that there are some things that we have to do because the state and the nation require us legally to do. And then there's a progression of them. You can't do, even though number five may be a higher priority, you can't do number five until you've done one, two, three, and four when I was looking through them. Okay. Give Anne a thumbs up when you're done. Okay. Uh oh, I'm not seeing people. My internet was being funky. Did everybody put their names in, or am I no longer seeing faces in the videos? Are you still all on video, and I'm in my internet peeking out? Yes, we are still on video. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to see raised hands then. Is it is everybody done? Can you can you um oh I can see Lindsay now. Sorry, my internet must be uh I can see Lane. All right, so is everybody ready? I'm seeing everybody some thumbs up. All right, everybody's coming back to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm on Wi-Fi. I tried to switch to my cable and it wouldn't it wouldn't work. So I'm stuck with Wi-Fi, which is sometimes not so great. Is everyone ready? Is everybody ready? I'm David White. Are you are you there? I'm ready. All right, okay. David's ready. Okay. All right, let's go to uh, how many number ones on number one? Zero. Can you just read a couple key words of each one? That would be great because that's what I yeah. wrote down in the notes. Ensure school board ends policies align with community priorities. Zero ones. Maybe start with how many, how many? ones? Zero. How many? How many ones? Zero. Yeah. 
Okay. How many? How many twos? Zero. Three. How many threes? Zero. Fours. Zero. Five. Fives. Zero. Six. Yep. Zero. Seven. Oh, oh, we've got it. Which it was it five or six, Richard? We're on six. Oh, six. He so we have one for six. number six. Oh, two for number six. Two for number six. I feel like a got it. <laughs> yep. Seven. Uh oh. Just heard my daughter in the other room. Or my internet's going out. <laughs> All right. Who would like to take over in case Anne goes down? <laughs> we have a volunteer. Anne, I... you want to take over? Oh, I'm here and Lisa. Lisa's willing. Lisa. Go ahead, Lisa. Okay. Um, how many number sevens? Any number eights? We've got one eight. Any number nines? I see two or three. Lindsay, was that? No. Okay. So two number nines. And how many number tens? Seven. Got it. Okay. Going to implement research based instructional strategies in all classrooms. Take it away, Lisa. Okay. How many number ones for research based strategies in all classrooms? Okay. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, how many people rank this as your number two priority for this category? We have one. Any number threes? We have two number threes. Any number fours? Fives? Any, no, sorry, that's zero number fours. Any number fives? There's zero number fives. Any number sixes? Okay, so we have two number sixes. Any number sevens? We have one number seven. Any number eights? Okay, that should. Any number nines? Was that zero, zero eights? Zero eights, yep. Okay. And we should add up to 12 already. Yeah, you have what Lane said was accurate. Everybody's voted, so we don't have to go further. All right. Okay. Um, moving on to complete a detailed assessment framework. How many people ranked this as your number one? Zero. Number two, we have one. Okay. Number three, zero. Number four, we have two. Number five, we have four. Um, number six, we have two. Number seven, Zero. Number eight, we have three. Eight, I think that's nine. our 12. And that's yeah, our that 12. Yeah. Okay. So we now have 12. Thank you. Moving on to vertically and horizontally aligned curriculum. How many people rank that as your number one? We have one. Um, anyone rank that as your number two? 
We have three. Anyone rank that as your number three? We have five. Does anyone rank that as your number four? Number zero for number four. Does anyone rank it as number five? We have two for number five. Does anyone rank it as number six? Were Sorry, you a number? Number five. Yours was five also, Wilder. So we have three number fives, and that gets us to 12. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. All right. So we are moving on now to. Um, I'm sorry. Effectively utilize technology to enhance student learning in all classrooms. Yep. Um, how many? Lisa. People, yep. Rank that as number one. Okay. Zero. Number two. We have one. Number three. We have zero. Number four. I put number four there. So one, anybody have number five? We also have one. Um, number six, we have four. Um, number seven, one, two, we have two for number seven. Any number eights? We have one. Number nine, we have two. Anyone for number 10 on that one? Zero. Okay, thank you. Um, all students meet literacy and math standards by grade three. Did anybody prioritize this as their number one? Okay, we have one. Did anybody prioritize it as number two? We have three. Anybody prioritize it as number three? We have one. Number four. We have three. Number five. We have one. Number six, zero. Number seven, we have one. Number eight, zero. Number nine, we have two. And number 10, we have zero. I didn't do my math as well. Yeah. All right. Um, so the Great next personal point. learning plans. Yep. Mm -hmm. So did anybody rank personal learning plans as number one? Okay, we have one. Number two. Number three. So we have zero for number two, and we have two okay. for number three. Number four. We have one for two for number four. Number five, number six. How many for five? Zero. Okay. Number six, zero. Number seven, I had, so we have four for number seven. Number eight, we have two. Number nine, zero and number 10 we have one okay. um, yeah the next one is about um exposure to middle and high school students to career fields career clusters um, through guidance the innovation center and pre-tech um, so who listed that as their number one 
zero, number two, we have one, number three, we have two, number four, we have zero, number five, we have one, number six, we have one, number seven, we have one, number eight, we have two, number nine, we have three, four, four, okay, and number 10, zero number 10. Um, and then next we have decreasing the number of IEPs um, and students as a percentage of the overall population. Um, so how many people prioritize this as number one? We have zero. Number two, two. Number three, zero. Number four, zero. Number five, one. Number six, zero. Number seven, two, three, three. Okay, number eight, we have two. Number nine, we have two. And number 10, we have two. Okay, increase the number of students achieving proficiency through ELA math and science standards. Um, how many people prioritize this as number one? Um, so we have three. Number two, we have one. Number three, zero. Number four, we have four. Number five, we have one. Number six, we have one. Number seven, we have zero. Number eight, one. Number nine, zero. And number 10, we have one. And that's our whole list, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So we've got about six minutes left. Uh, if you'd go through, I think there's six under personal development skills. Um, so uh, go through one, one through six there and we'll add them quickly. Give Lisa a thumbs up when you're when you're ready. Seems like most people are ready with these six. Anybody okay. not ready? <laughs> okay. Um, so for aligning emotional, um, social emotional learning standards for students across grades. Everybody who prioritized this as number one, please show with a raised hand or thumbs up. Okay, so that's two. Any number twos? We have one. Oh, sorry, two. Two number twos. Number threes. We have three. 
fours, one, five, one, and six. We have two. Okay. okay. Moving on to increasing mental health su supports. Um, who ranked this number one? Okay, there's one, five. Number two, we have two. Number three, we have two. Number four, we have one. Number five, zero. Number six, we have one. Thank you. Um, the next one is related to age appropriate wellness breaks for students. Um, so please raise your hand if you prioritize this number one, your number one priority in this category. We have zero. Number two. Okay, number three, or we have one number two. Yep. Number three. We have one number three. Number four, we have three number fours. Number five, we have three number fives. Four number fives. And any number sixes? Mine was the number six, sorry. Oh, yours was, okay. So we have three number fives and four number sixes. Thank you, Wilder. All right. Um, the next one is increasing student ownership and personal learning. How many people rank this as your top priority in this category? Okay, we have two. Okay, number twos. We have two, three, three number twos. Number threes. We have one number three. Number four. We have three number fours, number fives, we have three, and number six, we have zero. All right, students expand their development of critical thinking skills. Any top priorities for anyone? Is this anyone's number one? We have one. Okay, number two. We have three, number three, five, number four, we have two, number five, we have one, and number six, zero. Okay. Sorry, Lisa, I missed you on that one. I was a number one. Okay. So we have two number ones. Right. Um, the last one in this category is related to basic financial literacy and life skills before graduation. Um, did anyone give this a number one? We have zero for number one. Number two, we have one for number two. Number three, zero. Number four, one, two, two number fours. Number five, we have four number fives, and number six, five number sixes. Beautiful. Okay, I think we are good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just ask uh, how you'd like to present, uh, Lane and I, uh, likely David and, uh, and Lisa uh, may do a little uh, editing. We'll try to keep it as coherent as it is now and make sure that the goals, the action steps, the benchmarks line up, the years, uh, we parse those, those out. Uh, who would like to uh, present the vision to the board? This will be our last work of, of tonight. Uh, when we do this, uh, a lot of you are going to have a, a role. 
Uh, we're going to have a vision, a mission, beliefs, and then we're going to have the four theme priorities. So we're, we're going to have seven roles. Uh, who would like to present the vision and just a little bit about kind of how we got to this point? Can you first Any clarify the, meeting? the agenda says it's on the June 14th. It also says it's on June 24th. Okay, good point. Lane, I think it's, and Ann, isn't it the 14th? Yeah, second, you can't see second, it. Second Monday in Sorry. June. Second Monday yeah. in June. Uh, so it's the, four, it's the 14th. 14th. Good catch. Uh, who would like to present the vision? Any takers? I'll do it just to get things going. <clears throat> is, that, David. is that David? Yeah. Okay, who'd like to do the mission? I can do the mission, that's Lisa. Okay, yeah. Beliefs? I can do beliefs. Help me to know who it is. Haley will do beliefs. Okay, Kayla? Haley. Haley? Haley, got it, okay. Who'd like to do uh, theme priority one? That's the culture. You can throw me in on anything that other people don't want to do. Okay. Priority two. This is Lindsay, I can do that. And priority three. I can do that. This is Lisa. Okay. And priority four. That's personal development. Again, there's not much to this. You just present what the goals are and talk a bit about maybe how we got to those or maybe just the highlights. Any person uh, willing to do personal development? Sure, I can do that one. And who is that? Kelsey. Beautiful. All right. Well, we have come to the magic time. And the magic time is, I think I've I don't think I'm in presentation mode. Um, we have completed our work, folks. It's uh, it was a long process. Uh, I really liked tonight because we had more participation uh, from everyone because uh, you all had to vote on each of them. So it was quite nice uh, to have the engagement tonight. But I want to sincerely thank you very much on behalf of the school board, on behalf of the administration. Uh, I very much enjoyed working with you all. And I just have to share with you as I bid you adieu, I'm going on a fishing charter on a 15 mile lake tomorrow that the half of it runs through North Carolina and the other half through Georgia. So if you never see me again, then an alligator got me or, or water moccasin. Uh, but if you do, then it was a successful fishing trip. So thank you very, very much. And we'll be in touch and see you on June 14th. I'd love to have you all there just so that the board can recognize uh, your good work. With that, have a good rest of the evening. Take care. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Jason. Have fun on your trip. I will. Thank you.